I'm Jeremy Craker with L West in Ecuador. I just walk over it. Nobody lives forever. To escape the worst part of winter, <sighs> Elle and I saved up our vacation time and flew in January from Canada to Quito, Ecuador. There, we rented a motorcycle, rode two up to Cuenca, and borrowed a second motorcycle from our friend Bones. On today's motorcycle therapy, Elle and I leave Cuenca, ride up and over a high mountain pass in the Andes, and wind our way down the other side to the Pacific Ocean and hot sun. We take a boat trip out to the Isla de la Plata, an island that some people call the poor person's Galapagos. We saw all kinds of wildlife there, and then back at the hotel, even more wildlife. I'm excited, but I'm also scared. He's coming in. He wants in our house. What are you doing? Balls. That's all coming up. Just chicken, sleep, listen. All right, action. <laughs> Now, the name Cuenca, where Bones lives, comes from the Spanish word for basin, and that means that no matter how you get into or out of Cuenca, you're going to have to climb a high pass through the Andes Mountains. Heading for the ocean, El and I lit off for the Mirador Tres Cruces. At that section of the road, we hit an elevation of over 4,000 meters. That's 13,651 feet! But enough talking, let's ride! Motorbike. It's like we don't really know what we're doing. Moving on the Queen's Highway, looking like a streak of lightning. Okay, pulling a U turn now. If you gotta go, go, gotta go, motorbike riding. And here I go. Listen to me and I'll tell you no lie. Too fast to live, too young to die. I bought a new machine today and say, Cool, isn't that pretty? Take your breath away, motorbike. is amazing. The pass was gorgeous, and the weather grand, but as we topped the summit and began our descent, the predictable thing happened. No more gasps of cool Andean air, now we drank in the warm humidity coming off the Pacific Ocean. This meant that, at once we were in the clouds, at first a pleasant novelty. Too much footage of being inside of a cloud. No such thing as too much footage of being inside of a cloud. We are inside of a cloud right now. Look at that. Or basically have the visibility of an interior of a marshmallow. And then we were in the rain. We sheltered beneath a tarpaulin, chatting with a pair of locals as we donned our rain gear. Like it's almost not rain, but it almost is rain. So I thought my rain pants were bad. Look at these sexy things. But check out what Jeremy's got going on. I'd rather be dry than good looking. See? Now bundled up in our rain gear, we hit the road again, descending and descending into the jungle. Elle and I both put away our GoPro Hero 11s because they had media mods and they weren't waterproof. So please excuse this audio as I shout into my Osmo action camera. I don't know how Elle is doing it. Her glasses are a problem too. 
I mean, there's so much reverb on this vocal that it sounds like it was produced by Glenn Johns. <laughs> Am I right? Glenn Johns? And then we punch through the bottom of the cloud bank to find ourselves in a twisting landscape of lush green forest ever descending to the sea. It got hot and steamy real fast. Elle and I pulled over at a fruit stand to lay her down and to buy some fresh fruit. Puedo you think, comprar Elle? solo cuatro de esos? Cuatro de esos? Sí. Veinticinco. Gracias. Do you know what that is? I'm going to touch it. Pick it up and I'm going to caress it. It's all going to fall down. Do you, you think know it is? what that is? No, what is that? That's cacao or coca or chocolate. Nope. Inside this is the seeds that make the stuff that makes me happy. That makes chocolate? Chocolate. the mountains and the jungle behind us, we found ourselves on flat land at about sea level approaching Guayaquil, the largest city in Ecuador. They have toll roads in Ecuador, but most of them have little tracks on the side for motorcycles so you don't have to pay. That's how you do tolls in Ecuador. Woo! Woo! And then we hit the city. Here's a bit of me and Elle as we squeeze through traffic. Oh, can I do this? If you're perfect. Huh. Hey, this person's letting me go. Nice. I think they blocked me on purpose and then their passenger said something and then they let me through. I'm actually quite a bit wider than you are. Okay. Just like in real life. I don't know, Jeremy hips of mine. I was talking about the thickness of my head. Oh. We're riding across a bridge into Guayaquil. Uh, this is one of the several places in Ecuador that we were told, do not stop. Um, we were told if you stay here for the night, just grab a hotel and stay in. Don't try to go exploring at nighttime. Yeah, so I guess this is one of those places on Earth where you know how people always say, don't go, it's dangerous? Yeah. This is one of those places where... It... The locals say, don't go, it's Yeah, dangerous. the locals are saying, don't go here. So, we're just going to pass through. And then, just as we thought we had escaped the city to hit some open road, we found ourselves bogged down by a political procession. <laughs> I feel like going dirt biking. Oh, there's the news team. They probably just wanted to interview me because they've heard about my books, Motorcycle Therapy for Dust and Darkness. But uh, we gave them the slip. And from what I know from watching Long Way Up, if you're a celebrity like me and Ewan McGregor, um, you can get swarmed here in Ecuador. Finally, we did hit open road, but after a few wrong turns on that political parade, we soon ran out of daylight. We came, we arrived at the ocean. Just a little after sunset. Uh, we're kind of limping in to Puerto Lopez, looking for a hotel. We checked into a quiet hotel right on the ocean in Puerto Lopez, thanks to a recommendation from Bones. It had been a long day. I don't think I've ever been more grateful for a nice cool shower, some food, and a cold beer in my life. In the morning, Elle and I hopped into a pickup truck and headed to the dock because we had arranged a day trip to Isla de la Plata, or in English, Silver Island. and I rolled out my pants 
I think I should have just taken my pants off to do that landing. <laughs> we could have received a little more instruction than that. Yeah, sit down, hurry! Sit down, hurry! Yep. Isla de la Plata is kind of like the poor person's Galapagos Islands. True, it's not quite the same as the Galapagos, but there's still lots of wildlife, it's remote, and it's really all Elle and I could afford on this trip. And look, I'm not complaining, it was a great day out, but it's just nearly impossible to make an original joke about boobies. Blue-footed boobies! See what I mean? Anyway, my favorite part was when we got back to the boat. What do you think, El? Kind of chaos, huh? A little bit. Sorry. The real reason I was happy to be back at the boat was it was just time to rest and get out of that hot sun. At the boat we had shade, cool water to drink, a nice breeze, and then, after watching a bale of turtles that swam by, we got to jump into the ocean. hired a tuk-tuk to bring us back to the hotel. After a shower and then a nice dinner downtown, we returned to the hotel to relax in our hammocks and drink in the cool evening air. And that's when we discovered that our wildlife viewing day was not done. Look at that. Look at that thing. It's right there. Yeah. We sleep right there and it's right there. Yeah. Watch. It's a plastic. We shouldn't really bug it. This video is not over yet. I'm just giving you a moment right now to click the like button on this video. If you're still watching, you must like it, right? And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing, and it really helps me out. Or so I'm told. Nobody really knows. How big is that thing? In the morning, on our way back to meet up with Bones in Cuenca, El and I encounter a black day. I should mention that although I do have more Ecuador videos coming up, my next video will probably be about my first motorcycle camping trip of the summer. I don't know. I'm just winging it here. I'm gonna go drink beer in my hammock. What if he comes to your hammock? Then I'll film it again. <laughs>